close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. And if long breathing is comfortable, keep it up. If it's not, you can change. Try to keep on top of things right here, right now. The Buddha talks a lot about focusing on the present moment because it's where all your choices are being made. The problem is that he says that we're intoxicated. Even if we take the precept and follow the precept not to take intoxicants, there's a certain intoxication in the mind that's common to all people. We're intoxicated with our youth, we're intoxicated with our health, and we're intoxicated with our life. In other words, when you're young, you think, well, I'm not going to get old anytime soon. So there's no great hurry to do anything especially good in my life. I can wait until later before I start making merit, before I can meditate. Sometimes you say, well, I've got a job right now, I don't have the time. Wait until I retire and then I can meditate. Of course, what happens? You can die young, or you can get really, really sick and it's going to be hard. You know you have the opportunity now, so take advantage of it while you have it. The same with your intoxication with health. Our health right now is no guarantee that it's going to last much longer. So think about what good you can do with the strength that comes with health, and then do it now. And that's for life. That's even more precarious. Just a slight little accident, a slight little something, a little blood clot develops in your body someplace, gets a wanderlust, wanders around, and it gets stuck in something. Capillary here, capillary there, and that's it. No notice, no forewarning. So while you have this human life, try to take advantage of it. What does it mean to take advantage of it? Some people say, well, eat, drink, and be merry because tomorrow we may die. But what do you get out of that? As John Swat used to ask, the pleasures that you get from the senses, sight, smells, taste, tactile sensations, the ones you had last week, where are they now? They're all gone. You may have a memory of them, but the memory of them is not necessarily going to be pleasant. The fact that they're gone it tinges them with a little bit of nostalgia. And nostalgia is a dangerous state of mind to develop, because it can pull you in a direction that it's not necessarily going to be good for you. You want to go back to a situation where well, the situation doesn't exist anymore. Or you go back to it and it's, well, it's not as good as it was, because it's never going to be exactly the same. So focus on what good you can do right now, because that gives long-lasting results. As the Buddha said, when, if you pass away, the good that you've done will be waiting for you, like relatives waiting for a, a relative who's been long lost and now has come back home. So that's what you want. When you go to a new life, you want to go with the sense that you are going home, not off to some strange, unknown, strange, alien place. The good you do, that's like creating a home for yourself. And you create a home for yourself right here, right now. Think about when you're generous. When you sell something to someone else, you're placing a barrier. You don't, they, know, they can't get it until they give you money. It means they're outside of the family. But when you give something, it's like you're admitting them into your family. This is why in Thailand the monks refer to their supporters as yadyom, relatives. Because there is a sense of family that comes when you're being generous. And then when you have a family this way, okay, everywhere you go is home. You feel at home. And there's a sense of safety and security that comes with that. So there are good things that we can do with our time right here, right now. So don't throw them away. Don't throw away the opportunity that you have with your youth, with your health, with your life. Because these things can go at any time. So try not to be intoxicated with these things. There's a famous short story by Nathaniel Hawthorne where a group of old people are sitting around and lamenting the fact that when they were young and strong and healthy, they wasted their youth on silly things. They said, if only we could get our youth back, then we'd use it wisely. Well, in the story they get this magic punch that actually turns them young for a while, and they start behaving the same silly way they did before when they were young. Most of us never learn. At the very least, you want to make sure that you've used this human life as a life in which you've learned something something of value that holds you in good stead now and on into the future.